Okay guys, uh, today we have the good old PS3 controller and uh, as per somebody that asked on the comments if this controller could be connected to any Android TV box or the more expensive Android TV boxes, the answer is absolutely yes and actually 99% of the time you don't really need third party software. <clears throat> As, f as long as you're connecting it via USB. If you're connecting it with Bluetooth, yes, you'll require a third-party software, but I'm yet to find one that's stable enough to show you guys. And the first one is going to be this NVIDIA TV box here that I will try to connect it and we'll try to play a game so you guys can see it works. And the second one will be this Dynalink. It's a Walmart... Android TV, it's like 20 bucks or less, I think, sometimes. It only has an HDMI output, a US micro USB input, which is for charging, and for USB, which is interesting. The model is DL-ATV36 Dynalink TV Box. So, what I'm going to do with the TV box, I bought one of those. Let me take this white cable out. I went ahead and bought one of these splitters. That has a regular USB in here. And in the other side has one male and one female micro USBs. The reason being for that is that when you connect the, uh, one of the USBs here, since it doesn't have a regular USB output, you know, to connect our PlayStation 3, we have now the female side of it, which I will connect here in a second. And now this goes to the power brick. So it brings the power to the box. And you have the USB input here that we will plug our PlayStation 3 controller. And uh, regarding the NVIDIA, we don't need that because it has two USB outputs, inputs. So we're good on that one. And with that said, let's go to the PC and I will put both separately in the uh, capture card. And uh, you guys will see it yourself that... It actually works. Okay, guys. Uh, now we're going ahead. As you see, I opened uh, my camera hub, the Elgato uh, capture card here. I, I'm using the Elgato Camlink 4K. Let me plug NVIDIA first and test the controller on it. And as you see, NVIDIA has just uh, started. So now what I'm going to do... I'm going to plug the remote and uh, see if it works. And I will try to film it with my phone so you can see it in real time. Okay, now you will see video feed from my phone. And right now, the, it's blinking, right? But to connect it, you just press the PlayStation logo here on the middle. And it goes to number one, right? Like in a regular PlayStation. And look. You can go up, down, you can do whatever you want to do with it. As you see, I don't think I have any games installed. But I will install a game real quick and try if it works with a game. To, oh, as we see, actually it detected even the controller. And let me film it with my phone. Not going to be easy, but I'll try. And here we go. Uh, okay, let's practice boost. I guess this... Oh, okay, this triggers the gas. Do I stop? Oh, no, this is boost. This changes the view. And I guess... Let me try if, if I can play with one hand. Yep. Looks like I'm, I can play with one hand. <laughs> well, you get the point. The controller works, okay? Perfect. On the NVIDIA, it worked. Now, let's go to the cheapo Walmart under 20 bucks Android TV box. And uh, we'll get back to you in a second. And as you see, this is Dynalink. It's way slower than, uh, what do you call, than NVIDIA. It's, you know, you get what you pay for, right? Uh, device preferences. 
we go here about uh network dynalink tv box that's the version 10 android security patch 11 all that and as you see it detected that we have a gamepad here too click x or press any key it says here okay but i forget this box is very slow so we're, we're not gonna do any any big deal here it works social we're not connected to any of that and finally the game started is i i i told you before i'm not a gamer so forgive me if i don't know how to operate i'm not trying to play with one hand as you see i'm holding the gas i let the gas go and the car slows down so yes i'm controlling the game with the playstation 3 controller oh we got a bottle whatever that bottle is for and yes i am not the best gamer so but on a budget for light games this android tv box for under 30 bucks i guess you can find them sometimes even cheaper on the uh, ebay but walmart i know sells them for around 30 or less it's not bad it's not bad okay and that's all i had to show you today guys and uh click home and go back home and with that said we'll see you next time bye